morning, good people. I'm Father Dwayne Reinert. Uh, I've been a Capuchin for 51 years and a priest for 45 years. I'm living here in St. Conrad Friary in Lawrence, Kansas. In 1590, a plague tore through Rome. Life became grim. Food was scarce. People were isolating themselves in fear. Many were suffering and dying in the streets. The local Jesuit community responded by standing up a makeshift hospital and a 23 year old Jesuit student decided to join his brother Jesuits in caring for the suffering. St. Aloysius Gonzaga contracted the illness himself and he lingered weak and bedfast for three months before himself dying. The church celebrates his memorial on June the 21st. And in the Office of Readings for the Liturgy of the Hours for this day, there's a touching letter, an excerpt of a letter from St. Aloysius to his mother during his final days. In that letter, he urges his mother to take comfort in the fact that his present path will lead him on the way to eternal happiness. He asks for his mother's blessing as he passes across the waters till I reach the shore to which all hopes belong. And he tells his mother that he writes to her because he has no clearer way of expressing the love and the respect that I owe you as a son. Each of us who have received the gift of faith receive it from God, but it's been mediated to us by some special person or perhaps many special people in our lives. For St. Aloysius, it was his mother who planted that seed of faith and nurtured it and whose love itself introduced him to the love of God. And perhaps St. Aloysius' letter to his mother might prompt us to express our gratitude to someone who has planted or nurtured the seed of faith in our lives along the way. And if we can't express our gratitude in person, we can certainly express our thanksgiving in prayer for all the good that people have done for us. And we Capuchins are praying for you and please pray for us.